Hello and welcome. In this quick video, we are going to look at the steps that we want to take when we're setting up a new WordPress website. Okay, so what we're going to cover really has nothing to do with your theme or plugins or any of that stuff. It's just the basic settings in WordPress that we want to make sure are in place before we go building out our site with our design and all the other fun stuff that we want to add. Okay, so right now we're looking at the dashboard inside the WordPress admin and what we want to do for our setup is go down here to settings and we're going to start with the general tab. So we'll go to that. All right, in the general settings there's four things that you want to make sure are in place. It's these top four items here. You want to make sure your site title is input and you've got a tagline. Even if you're not going to use the tagline, you're going to want to input this because this information will be used initially, and you can change this stuff later on, but initially this stuff is going to be used in some title tags in your on your website, which is going to affect your SEO. So for example, on this page, the title tags, which appear up here, but I'm going to show you in the markup. This right here is focus test site, and this is a dash, just showing off what focus can do. So this is the site title on the left, the tagline on the right, See the same thing up here. So we're gonna go. We're going to want to input this information. Like I said, even if you're not going to be using that later, go ahead and make sure it's there. That's gonna that's gonna help uh, all the information on your website be filled out, and then you can go through and optimize your title tags on a per post per page type basis later on if you want to do that. Uh, next, we're gonna gonna have a WordPress URL and the site address URL. Depending on your WordPress environment, these, these two items may be different. Uh, like, for example, if WordPress is installed in a special WordPress directory like slash WordPress, your WordPress URL might be your domain slash WordPress, but your site address is probably just going to be your site.com. The only other thing I want to point out here is at this point, uh, it's in your best interest for search engine rankings and for general usability and visibility on the internet to be using the HTTPS protocol. To do this, you will need an SSL certificate installed on your website. And almost every web host now offers free SSL type stuff or, or free setup at a minimum, that type of thing. You need to inquire with your web host about that. But I do not think you should be serious about starting a new website unless you have HTTPS protocol in place. I do want to make a statement about this. Uh, I've seen a lot of people using a plugin called the Really Simple SSL plugin because they feel like they need to do something on their WordPress website when they move over to the HTTPS protocol. The reality is you do not need to do anything. You do not need that plugin. That plugin will slow down your site and complicate your site. All you need to do is make sure with your web host that an SSL certificate is installed and that your site responds to the HTTPS protocol and not just HTTP and make sure that those uh, that information is reflected here in these URLs. That's really all you have to do. Now, if you have a, an older site that you are converting to HTTPS, you also want to use something that's called a search and replace plugin to go through your WordPress database and scrub all ref or change. Really, you want to change any internal references, internal URL internal URL references to your website. You want to make sure that they are pointing to HTTPS and not HTTP because you don't want your link juice reflecting the old URL protocol. That's uh, that's really a little bit more of an advanced thing, but you don't need to do, my point is you don't need the really simple SSL plugin, do not use it. Make sure your SSL certificate is installed and that these values say HTTPS, all right? Okay, next setup item. This one's optional, but it's under the reading tab. And what you can do, uh, by default, a WordPress website is going to be set up and it's going to, your homepage is going to display your latest posts. And here's what that's going to look like. So I got one, two, three, four posts on this blog style page. Now I've chosen four. By default, your a WordPress website is going to be set up to show 10. I've just got this site set to four. I think 10 is a bit much. People don't really browse anyway. I don't even use that format. I'm using, I'm actually using a static homepage, which I think is probably a better approach anyway. That gives you uh, the ability to control the precise content that appears on your homepage. You're not going to have any duplicate content concerns. And quite frankly, a blog page just isn't that useful. 
but a static static front page. You can put exactly what you want on there. You can control precisely what your visitors are gonna see when they come to the most popular page of your website. So I highly recommend using a static homepage uh, if you're really serious about the information you're gonna present on your homepage. So if you're gonna do that, you're gonna, you're gonna have to create a page. It can be a blank page, it can be any page create a page, and then you can specify that page here in these dropdowns once that has been created. You'll need to do the same thing for a blog style page, but once they're both set up, you can visit yoursite.com slash blog, and then that will be your blog, and then your home page is gonna be the static, the static front page you specified here. Okay, now that pretty much covers my basic setup for any new WordPress website that I deploy. But there is one more thing I like to do. I go into the permalinks here. And so specifically, I like this kind of URL structure, slash blog, slash uh, whatever the keywords are, and not something cryptic like phpone.com, question mark, P equals 161. That is uh, the way a default WordPress URL structure works. It renders quickly, but you're losing out on potential SEO benefits by having keywords in your URLs. So I highly recommend you switch your permalink structure. We're gonna to go to the permalinks tab here in the settings menu to the post name setting. So what you'll do, you'll open this page, you'll switch it from plain to post name, and then you'll hit save. And on most servers, this should just work. If it doesn't, you may need to contact your server or your host, pardon, and have them modify a file called an HT access file to make sure that your URLs are following this post name structure. But once that's done, your URLs will be uh, high octane like this one. They'll be ready to rank in search engines and you'll have all the basics in place to run a really high performance WordPress website. Uh, just by following those steps I've shown you here. So it's three things, the general tab, the reading tab, if you wanna set up the static homepage, which I think you should do, and then also the permalinks, make sure your setting is correct. And now once you've got all those basic WordPress things in place, you'll be ready to move on to installing your theme and to set, set up that environment so that your site really starts cranking. All right, see you in the next video.